Hello, I'm Mitchell. I directed Good Housekeeping. Hello, my name is James, and I play Rote Good Housekeeping. Come gauge your moral barometer. Yeah, come! Yes, come and laugh, little piggy. Go to www.google.com and search Good Housekeeping Fringe 2013 June uh, Montreal Montreal Santa Cruz Theater for dates and times. My name is James Watts, uh, spelled J A M E S space W-A-T-T-S, uh, like electricity, and I, I wrote the spelling, I wrote the play, Good Housekeeper. <laughs> he did. Hi, my name is Kelly Craig, K-E-L-L-Y-C-R-A-I-G. I play Audrey Cinziano in Good Housekeeping. My name is Mitchell Cohen, M-I-T-C-H-E-L-L-C-O-H-E-N. I play the director of Good Housekeeping. He is the, he didn't. I, I you actually, play? you are. I'm the director. <laughs> That's really My name is director. Emily Tanya, E-M-I-L-Y, space, T-O-G-N-E-T. -E Thank you. She plays... Bethany. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Uh, my name's Hannah Morrow, H-A-N-N-A-H-M-O-R-R-O-W, and I play Tracy in Good Ask. So many doubles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do you know Morrow's almost a palindrome, too, if you flip for the M or the W. Coming from a playwright's perspective, uh, there's a lot of words with two letters in them. <laughs> <laughs> I had never thought of it that way. Wow. I came across them quite a bit when James, I was writing good house. As a director, you have to really be cognizant. Can we add that insight when, in when there? They, when there's two words O's? Can a character say that? Yeah. Yeah. Is, uh, is it, <laughs> you wrote a lot of them. Right? You wrote a lot of the words? Yeah. All the words, I think, eh? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> How was that for you? Writing the play? Yes. Yeah, tell us about um, your well, smithing. I, I got a laptop that I have from my dad. My dad. And from your dad, I from your opened bed. up. I opened up a thing, and I just I wrote. I just I wrote it all. Wow. So why did you write? The, I'm asking. Because I want. I because I wanted a play that is gonna be heck, damn great. Can we swear? Sure. Why not? Damn. It's gonna be fucking incredible. <laughs> just don't. Don't. That's that's crude. But don't put the swear word. But you guys, you can even tell them it's a great play, and don't. It's a lot of surprises. And a lot of this is, you know, a lot of drama and uh, suspense, and just laughter. And I, I, you know, I think it's, you know, the best thing at Fringe this year. Coming from the playwright's perspective. Coming from the playwright's perspective. Well, I mean, I also I wrote it, but I'm also an audience member. Yeah, and not, yeah. I mean, as I'm, I'm an actor, but I'm, I'm. This is my first time directing this, and I think, like, from a from a perspective of like picking up a script and reading something, which is something that as an actor you do a lot, uh, it's actually, it is, you know, all joking aside, a good script. It's like there's a strong story there. And it's nice because when you, we first read it, as I believe a good play does, you pick it up and you read it and you're like, I gotta go back and understand like what's going on, like blah, 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 as opposed to like getting it right away. If you get it right away, it's like the story was maybe too easy. And so, over the past couple days in rehearsal, it's been super nice because I've really, really, really heard the story, uh, and it's like it's very nice and clear, and there's a little like a big journey in it um, for characters. So it's it's great. It's a good script. I wrote it for smart people who can get it on the first try. <laughs> 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 Just he is a good director, though. Oh well, thank you. So you asked one question. Not being <laughs> you asked one question of us, the first one. So that was the first <laughs> of the answer interview. to your question. <laughs> he didn't ask a question. Yeah. Yes, oh, what you kind of did. Yeah, you got it. You know how to spell your names? Yeah, that was That's what it led into. People, we haven't let him talk. We've just continued to talk. <laughs> well, there's like, there's like six, I don't know, there's a bunch of like different connections here. We but... grew up since we were little kids. The, the three of us went to high school. And then really? these two schmucks. That I don't know. Just I just random. So I'll explain it a little bit better than that. Uh, James and I went from uh, junior, sorry, senior kindergarten through until like now. So that's how long I've known James. What is senior kindergarten? Senior kindergarten is one year before. It's not junior kindergarten, one. kindergarten, that's for sure. <laughs> no kidding. Let me tell you. Had some Moving terrible, on. terrible experience like junior kindergarten. Anyways, Hannah and me and James went to high school, uh, and we also ended up in Concordia in theater, and James is in film. 
and then Emily and Kelly ended up in Concordia Theater and I was approached by James about how to do a play in Montreal, like what's the best avenue to go, and I suggested the Fringe Festival. And then I forget if I suggested to, if I directed or you asked me to, I'm not sure, but I'm not sure, I don't know. Oh, no, I, no, I had no clue what that happened. Okay, <laughs> I, ended up, I ended up directing it and then I was like in class with uh, Kelly and Emily and, and Hannah. And Hannah. Yeah. In various classes. And <laughs> You know, through that, I was like, oh, well, I should just ask these people to be in the show because they fit, uh, A, they have talent, and B, they fit the characters um, nicely. So. It's true, you didn't even audition us. I did not audition no. them, no. Huge mistake. <laughs> Huge mistake. I'm just kidding. So. It's about what she does after she signs the agreement to not to talk about what goes on. Because there are a lot of dark things that happen at her house. Yes. Comically so, right? Yes. I'm sure we can. It's all, it's all like in the name of, you know, to make you laugh. Basically. Oh, uh, there's some serious A lot stuff. of it, yeah. No, there's some really serious yeah. things. Yeah. No, no, all of it. Yeah, about people trying to, you know. Well, uh, okay. I'm gonna do it. Okay. <laughs> it the We're audience, not getting into the themes into of the show. It's a nice position of, like, judgment and to see, like, what they laugh at. And I think it, it's, it's a really good. Uh, Tester of people's comedy and sort of like how yeah, they we can in in our like in our like promo I don't know the in the fringe flyer it was I wrote something like come t gauge your moral barometer for laughs so it's like you know it's gonna be one of those things where people come and they might be like ooh, ooh, like how f how how much are they willing to like put up with <laughs> in a sense like. Uh, from a moral point of view, like if they can put themselves in the position of of Bethany and go, well, would I do that for that much? For that much money. Yeah, it's not even that much money, even really. Actually, it's quick. Is, is, yeah, it is yeah, a lot of money. Lot of She's offered eight hundred dollars. It's not like Donald a day. Trump money. Yeah, no, it's eight hundred bucks a day. But it's it's uh, it'll pay off my student. Oh, that would be I mean eight hundred dollars <laughs> a day. That's like you know four grand in a week. It's pretty good. That's some fast math. Well, it's if you're working a five-day work week. <laughs> if you're working five days, you work seven days, considerably more. <laughs> I'll say something with that because I know that I was out of people that I knew in Montreal. I was one of the first people to to jump into it uh, two years ago. Uh, I was in, or no, maybe it's like three now, but I was going into second year. Uh, when I was, uh, like at the end of my first year, I took a clown workshop, uh, and I was approached by some people in the workshop to do a play the year after uh, in the student-initiated production assignment, and that actually, we felt so good about that and had such a good reception that we were like, all right, let's do it in the fringe. And uh, it just, it opened a lot of doors in the sense of like meeting people, uh, uh, I don't know, meeting the staff at the main line, uh, the main line is like a super integral part of Montreal theater. Uh, it's all the indie shows like end up here at a certain point and then it's like a launch pad for that. So um, yeah, it's like a great, great place to meet people and to, you start seeing, you know, the same people over again and over again and eventually it's like, okay, do you want to work together? Um, do you want to uh, maybe come in and watch my piece and I'll come in and watch your piece and, and we'll compare notes you know it's it's really cool uh, for that as well if like you need some place to stay like yeah everyone's really friendly it's, it's a big party basically um, yeah what has it done for me I guess has opened a lot of doors I'm really excited to make people laugh I, it's been a long time since I did a comedy I usually my performances I don't normally do comedies and I'm just really really excited to make people Laugh. It's gonna be so much fun. Yeah. yeah. I think for me it's the same thing. I didn't even know I could be funny. So that's been a new yeah, discovery she is, for me. She is <laughs> crazy <laughs> hilarious. It's She's very like fun. A lead. So I'm looking forward to that. Okay. Yeah. You didn't know you weren't. I yeah. would say Seriously, for me it's, it's, crazy. it's uh, seeing it as a whole, seeing it as one unit because I mean I like I, James wrote it and then I, I read uh, I've seen every version of it uh, in like uh, basically it's like fixing spelling mistakes, but I, you know I like I've seen <laughs> I've gone it's gone from like a rough version to like 
okay, I'm not done the last bit, I've, I've written, written the first half, okay, and, and then finally going from paper to, to, you know, under lights with sound, with people in the audience. Uh, we have a dress rehearsal tonight, actually, which is crazy cool. But there's still, you know, undone things that, that uh, will will finish themselves before the end of the week. But uh, yeah, the, I think on closing night it'll be like like an accomplishment. Be Huge accomplishment. Yeah. Man, I'm excited to just say I'm a playwright at parties and things. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be. Yeah. There's a lot of heft to that title. Yeah. It's pretty cool too. You wrote a play and then it's like getting it's coming to life. Yeah, that's true. I get to mix drinks. She's looking forward to mixing drinks. She yes. does more than that. <laughs> and, and, and scrubbing. I'm going to know how to clean the best of houses now. What are you looking forward to the most? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, I can't say there's one thing because it's just like, it's it's such a, a fun thing for me to stay here for the summer instead of go back to Alberta and like, just <laughs> right. be involved. I'm looking forward in like to not this. going to Alberta. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, it, it's just very exciting to be involved in like this little production because I mean the Concordia main stages are huge and they're fun and they're during the school year but like to go out yeah. and do this on our own in the summertime is like it's true it's, it's a yeah. great opportunity the fringe for a lot of people especially students it's like it's an opportunity to stay in Montreal for yeah. uh, a longer period of time because a lot of people end up going you know the semester ends in April they, they go back home and it's cool because when you're in a show it gives you a reason to stick around and a reason to talk to people and to network and and it's not just like oh well I'm gonna hang out in Montreal yeah. and bum around like you you know you serve a you feel like you serve a purpose which is nice oh <laughs> and we'll so end true. with that yeah. <laughs> good housekeeping yeah. <laughs> no seriously it's a great play <laughs> Yeah. We're laughing already. Also, if you see it, you know, I don't know where. What's the? What's the? This thing. See TV. Where is it going? See TV. Mm -hmm. So it's playing in the halls of Concordia silently. I guess so. All right. I don't know. That'd uh, be pretty funny. If so if there is subtitles. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Put it on our Facebook pages. I'll yeah. bet that's where you're watching this. Yeah. Hey. I bet that's where you're watching. This. <laughs> One of us linked you to this video. Yeah. Awesome. If only we knew how to harmonize. I feel like we should harmonize. <laughs> I can start the bass, the... <laughs> oh. You have to go into the barbershop. You want it at a time. You guys can't just be like... Bah. Okay, wait. Bah. Bah. <laughs> Come see good housekeeping. <laughs>